Hi, Steve here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, moving the ham shack into the house from the garage and wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm doing with the VHF antenna and how I'm running it along the uh, brick outside the house. Stay tuned. Short video here relocating my two meter antenna. It's a two meter ground plane for uh, 146 megahertz area but I've got it on a PVC pipe and this is kind of my own home brew design I'm trying to get a little more height since I'm relocating it's not very heavy I know pipes flimsy and I cut a notch in the bottom right here and that helps the coax come out through there when you stand it up uh, I've got three pieces of pipe you just pick out any three pieces and just they don't have to be real snug, just uh, use some duct tape. I think I started with a two and a half inch and just sat there and fiddled around in Home Depot until I found another one to go inside. Uh, there's the second piece and the third piece. And let me show you on the uh, connector here how this goes together. Okay, this is a closer look at the connection end. Uh, I built this out of uh, just stripped out some copper out of the Romex, roll of Romex I had laying around, but you get the right size pipe here and uh, it's built out of a SO239 just wrap your uh, some electrical tape to tighten it up and uh, push it back down in the hole. Let me go take a measurement of this pipe. And once you get your tape wrapped around your connector that helps tighten it up into the uh, top one. This is a very lightweight antenna and it just snugly fits in there. I did some measurements. This pipe right here, the top piece, uh, 10 foot length is uh, one inch. The second one it goes into is one and a quarter and uh, one and three quarter on the end. Again, they don't have to fit absolutely tight as can be. You can wrap some duct tape or something around here. Well, let me put this thing up and I'll show you what it looks like when I, when I get it up. Okay, here is the uh, finished product. I had to shorten it a little bit because the coax was a little short that I had. Three sections of the PVC pipe and it's up about 16 foot which is equal to the top of my house and I was running to wiring trying to make it look halfway decent. One line is for HF and one line is for VHF. Not good enough coax quite, but into that window. But we're going to use it for now. This is kind of sort of temporarily until I can get it uh, run through the attic at a later time. But I wanted to go ahead and get set up in the house and on the air. We'll go inside and see how it works here in a minute. Here are the fasteners that I used to uh, attach the coax uh, to the brick wall. Actually, these are made for going right into the uh, mortar here. Uh, I picked these up at Home Depot. And uh, actually, if you're using RG8X coax, actually the color of this actually blends with the, uh, the cracks in the mortar. So uh, one of them is HF and one of them is VHF. And uh, the connectors actually uh, go in quite easily. Uh, just remember not to hit them extremely hard with one or two blows. You just want to kind of tap them in, and it makes it look for a little clean finish uh, getting into the window down there. Okay, back inside here with the station. Uh, Kind of everything's still a mess. Uh, still putting some stuff together, but uh, let's check the uh, SWR on this uh, VHF radio here. It's a Yaesu FT2900, and uh, I'll bring it in a little closer and we'll take a look at the reading on SWR. Make sure I didn't bend anything on that antenna because they're kind of peculiar if you, if you bend them up. 
Okay, let's take a SWR reading. We're going to use the 146.520 to take a reading, and I'm using this uh, small inline SWR meter. I've got an analyzer, but it doesn't read uh, the higher frequencies. So let me see if I can get this into view. over just about right and flip it to SWR let's see what it reads okay right about 1.3 or 4 okay that's good that's good uh, flip it up to where my main local club repeater is and just key it up real quick see if I can get a quick oh that's good yeah below 1.5 about 1.4 so it's good. I didn't bend it up too bad. I didn't want to have to take it down again. So uh, yeah, that's it. A uh, little quarter wave ground plane and uh, they make really good antennas. Let me uh, see if I can raise somebody on the repeater here for a little test. 84XT. Anyone available for test? WX4 RDM. Did I hear you out there, Randy? Yeah, that was me out here. Okay, I just uh, moved my VHF radio back into the house. Uh, moved the antenna, everything, coax. So, uh, is everything working okay? Say nine by nine. Yeah, it, it's great. All right, well, good deal. All right, that's all I wanted to hear. Uh, the SWR looks good on it, so uh, I didn't bend it up too bad using that little quarter wave ground plane. So uh, uh, it all went back up and it's in one piece. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'll clear with you, Randy. WX4 RDM 84XT 73. Well, there you have it. Uh, moved my radio, my quarter wave ground plane, and got the coax tucked into the bricks real well, and everything works. So that, that's, that's a good day when everything works. So I appreciate everybody watching it. Hope you enjoyed it. 84XT out.